respond? Well, calmly. That's calmly. You've got to keep judicially. your temper. Mm-hmm. You've got to keep your temper mm-hmm. because you know, our enemy is whispering to them during this time, nobody mm-hmm. understands you. Nobody cares about you. Mm-hmm. And if you react in anger, he's like, yeah, see what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so it's hard. You, you just can't do that. Instead, you, you, think, how would I confront a, sin, a friend who was in sin? You know, because there are times when you have to sit down and say, look, we need to talk. There's a problem. You're trying to resolve a relationship issue between you and your friend. You know, what you, what you don't do is grab your friend by the collar and start berating them and, you know, trying to humiliate. Well, we hope you don't do that because that's not going to that's not going to build a relationship at all. You know what? This is a hard thing. There's there's a time when they're small. They just need to learn to obey. You know, the scriptures say children obey your parents in the Lord. Ephesians 6 1. Well, that's that's when they're very little. But as they get older, you're going to have to listen to them. You're going to have to hear them out before you go to the next phase of discipline because yeah there you know what where it says children obey the lord everyone is to honor their, their father and their mother but children yeah. of children are to obey their parents now yes. should us does a 17 year old who's at living at home need to obey you yes yeah but you're moving them toward independence so what 